Hey, Mr. Andy here. I'm going to show you how to set up AutoCAD uh, 2013 for KCC's templates and title block borders. Um, so we're going to start out uh, by going to uh, folders here. And I'm going to go to C Drive, which is what I'd like you to do at home, and just make a new folder where we can put all of our title blocks and borders and templates whether you're in AutoCAD or SolidWorks. So I'm going to start a new folder and I'm just going to call it KCC Templates and hit OK. All right, so we've got a new folder there and that's where we're going to put everything. I'm now going to launch Internet Explorer and I'm going to go to the website uh, where we keep everything. And so uh, you could navigate to uh, Academic dot Kellogg dot edu slash CAD and that takes you to the CAD website I'm going to click on downloads and I'm going to download both the borders and the templates for AutoCAD so we'll click on drawing templates I want to save as and I'm going to navigate to C Drive and then to the KCC templates folder and save that. I'm going to do the same thing for the borders. So I'm going to click on drawing borders, save as, and right back to the KCC templates folder and we'll hit save. Alright, we can uh, lose Internet Explorer there. Now I need to unzip those files. Those were zip files. So I'm going to go into the KCC templates folder here. And I'm going to right click and extract all. And I want to extract them right into the templates folder. So we'll hit extract. And there are the template files. I will be adding the architecturals by the time you download this. Then I'll click on the borders zip file, right click, extract all. Again, we'll swipe that out of there so it just goes into the templates folder and we'll hit extract. Now I have all of the title blocks and borders and the templates. I can actually delete these zip files now. I don't need them, so I'm going to go ahead and delete them both. So we can see a bunch of DWG files, those are our borders, and a bunch of DWT files, which are our templates. Alright, won't need this window now. I'm ready to launch into AutoCAD, so I'm going to minimize this window. And let's go to AutoCAD here. I'm already in a drawing. Um, not that we need to draw anything here. Uh, we're just going to tell AutoCAD what to do now. So I'm going to right click in just the drawing space here. Just a right click and go to Options. So do a long right click and then Options. And we need to tell AutoCAD where to look for template files. So right here under Files tab, you can see there's lots of tabs here for setting up AutoCAD to look the way you want. We're going to go to Files and under template settings, if you can see where my mouse is there, we're going to expand that. And then drawing template file location will expand there. And right now ours is mapped to a network drive. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to browse. And again, we're going to go find that folder we just created. So I'm going to go to C drive, KCC templates and hit OK. Now that that is set, I can click OK here. And now when I start a new drawing in AutoCAD, it's going to bring me to that KCC templates folder each time so that I can choose my template. Secondly, uh, let's go ahead and open up an inch template here. And let me just draw a couple lines here so we have a drawing, if you will. And I'd like to put a title block and border around that. I'm going to go to the insert command. So we'll go insert, insert. And I'm going to browse to 
again, C drive, KCC templates, and here's all the title blocks and borders that you can insert into your assignments uh, for your work. So let's grab an A size inch and open and OK. And I should get an inch template. It will look just like the ones that you have here at KCC. You can fill out all your information and hit OK. And you'll have a title block and border up on your screen. So that's how you set up AutoCAD. A to access our templates and B to access our title blocks and borders.